guys, Anastasia is back. And today, let's have some fun and talk about step two clinical knowledge exam. I will tell you how the exam is organized. So this is a nine hour examination session, which includes eight blocks, 60 minutes each, and uh, it has somewhere from 42 to 44 questions per block. The total number of questions per examination session will not exceed 355. You will also be provided with a one hour, which includes 15 minutes of tutorial at the beginning of the, your exam and 45 minutes of your break time. Let's talk about the content of step two clinical knowledge exam. It includes those clinical disciplines that you've learned during your second half of your medical school. You probably had a clinical rotations as well. So, the exam includes internal medicine, surgery, obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics and psychiatry. You should always be prepared to get somewhere from two to three questions on biostatistics as well. Now, I will give you short information about the timeline for your preparation. American medical graduates, I know that you prepare for these exams during your clinical rotation or after your clinical rotations, and you have a very good understanding of the content of the exam, so you probably need much less time for your preparation. The further information concerns the international medical graduates. We need somewhere from four to six months to prepare for this exam. And we should start with reading and uh, watching and listening the video lectures provided by Kaplan. They have a great resource. In fact, they have separate books for each specialty. And once we complete that, we should move on and start reading the Master the Boards book for Step 2 Clinical Knowledge Exam and step three. So some students actually find it useful to read both versions of Master the Bo um, Board's book. So then, after you complete it, you should move on and start your USMLE World Question Bank. This is extremely useful resource. In fact, if you do question by question and read all the explanation, you will be ready to take your assessment exam, which is also provided by the USMLE world. And then you can go ahead and take your exam. So the biostatistics information also is provided by the USMLE world. They have a great resource, actually a book for biostatistics only. If you're wondering what kind of questions they might ask on your exam day, be prepared to be able to answer the following types of questions. What is the best next step of your management? What is the most probable diagnosis? What is the most accurate or most sensitive diagnostic test? Be prepared to be waiting for three to four weeks until you get your result back. And please target somewhere from 240 to 250 because each year the average score rises and now it's somewhere from 240 to 245. And because right now the minimal passing score is 209, really just make sure that you get somewhere like from 240 to 250 in order to get matched in a great residency program. How does it feel to take step two clinical knowledge exam? Well, more than anything, it's exhausting, okay? The questions are very long and the exam day is super long as well. <laughs> Imagine sitting down for nine hours. I mean, 
that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I mean, really, just make sure that you have a good sleep and good rest and eat well as well. The questions are not as hard as the one. In fact, I think that clinical questions are easier and make much more sense than basic science. But anyway, just don't panic, okay? You know this material. Just come to the exam room relaxed and uh, rested, okay? That's the most important. Because you should be able to be focused during all this time. It's really, really hard. It's a long, long day. Don't study. Don't study at least one day before the exam. Seriously. It's not going to help you much. It's just going to make you more nervous. You know this material. Just relax and go and stay focused. This is the most important message I want to deliver to you. And guys, good luck on your step two clinical knowledge exam. Please subscribe to Perseed and my video blog and stay tuned because next time I'm going to talk about how to master your CV for your application to the medical residency program. Guys, thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe to my video blog on Parsi 